Okay, for number 5, 6, they want us to continue filling in these tables. So for part A, I can um, see that the multiplier here is 3, right? They're multiplying by 3, and then they're multiplying by 3 again. So that would mean that for month 3, we would multiply by 3 again, and we would get 100 and 8. And then we multiply by 3 again, and we get 324 for month 4. Okay, for this next one, um, we're multiplying by some number. So let's say times n. And then we're multiplying by some number again, times n. So if I take 6 times n times n again, I get 24. So this is 6n squared equals 24. And then I can divide by 6, and I get n squared equals 4. So n equals plus or minus 2, but we know we're multiplying by positive, so n is 2. So the multiplier here now, we know this is um, 2, right, times 2, times 2. So this would be 12. 24 times 2, right, is 48. And we're done that problem.